What's up guys, Desert B here and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're on the East Sky Archipelago or the East Gerudo Sky Archipelago and I'm just exploring this. There's like a big sky island over here and ever since we found one of those Sage's Wills in a chest on one of these, I've been curious about it. Oh, is this one of those? Yeah, one of those things. That'll lock on to enemies, I guess, but... Hey, oh my gosh, it thinks I'm an enemy. Move, Yanobo. Okay, so let's see if this is another one. An old map, okay. Well, that's still fun. And it's close. We're gonna have so many pieces of armor to get from under this area once we once we go back to the depths. Okay, so that's what I just got. So I'm I guess that's probably the only chest that's down here. It just makes me wonder how many sages wills did I miss on other Sky Islands, because I didn't even really know to be looking for them. Um. Alright, it doesn't look like there's too much going on up here. Shock fruits. They look like actual lemons. There's always so much stuff to pick up on these islands. Okay, I think that about does it. So, the plan for today is to um, get to the Gerudo Desert and... What's that? Oh, I thought I saw something down there. So, um, we did... Let's see. Where are we? In relation to this area. Actually... Oh, so I'm kind of over here. I kind of did just want to... I mean, I don't know. I just want to make sure that I'm thoroughly exploring this area. I'm sure we'll be back this way. Um, and there's a, another memory, like, somewhere over here. So let's turn, like, to the west. There it is. Okay, so let's head down that way. Oh, look! It's... is Farash, I think. What's actually really cool about the dragons in this game is you can land on them and ride on them. Which is, uh, new from Breath of the Wild, because they would, like, buck you off, kind of. And I think they would even cause damage, too. So, I don't want to go down there because I don't want to lose my height. But we're going to go over here and try to get this memory. And then, and then that's our destination. Look at that. Actually, you can't even see Gerudo Town. Well, barely. In all this sand. And then here's the Kara Kara Bazaar, which looks a little different. Okay, so the trick to finding where the actual memory is in these things is to find the tier, essentially, that's filled in. So let's see if we can get, like, a front view of this thing before we get too far down. Good thing I've got that stamina maxed out, right? Okay, but <laughs> what is wrong with his feet? It just looks so long and flat. And like, they it almost seems like they bend weird at the ankles or something. I don't know. Looks weird. Oh, I see it. I see it. Right there. Okay. Come on, Tulin. I can't wait to meet Riju. She looks so much older in the trailers. Oh, we've got a Malice Pit or a Chasm, I should say. I don't I keep calling it Malice, okay? It's from 6 years of playing Breath of the Wild.
Uh oh. The temperature is dropping, but that's fine. So, let me change back into this. Oh, it's like really cold. <laughs> okay. Like it's dramatic. Look at this. <laughs> So yeah, this is our next one. Let's just double check it here. Make sure that we're not getting out of order. So we did. Wait, I can't see what's next. Okay, so we did the Mulduga one and then, yep, it's this Ganon one. All right, we get some more rehydrated Ganondorf action. Kind of weird that the memories don't really line up with the locations that they're in. So it's like you kind of have no idea what to expect. Allow me to offer you my deepest apologies. On behalf of the Gerudo for taking so long to accept your repeated invitations. It is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom. To serve it faithfully. A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you a hero to his people and a king by birth. Well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. Your Majesty has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. Most impressive. Hmm. It is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world with their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <laughs> your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. His sword, how cool. That was tense. King Roru, I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just his name, even that, it gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. <sighs> there is nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay. That's the second time she said that like that, just okay. I bet this is the inside of their Temple of Time. Because in the past memory, we saw their Temple of Time sitting on the Great Plateau. But, of course, now it's in the sky. <gasps> so the next memory is the one that looks like Sonya. But, um, I don't remember. I think it's kind of close by. It is, actually. It's not that far. Kind of between here and, um, I guess, Kibra. So, 
I have to think about how to work that in. You know, like, the thing about playing a game... Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I'm glad that the geoglyphs don't disappear when you actually, like, view the memories that they have. That's really cool. But, yeah, I guess, like, I know a lot of you guys are saying um, in the comments, because I do read my comments, that uh, for... One thing, I have enough stats to go and get the Master Sword, and I know, I know I do. Um, <laughs> look at those feet. <laughs> but I, like, when you're, when I'm playing a game for, you know, my channel where other people are watching, I'm trying not to do just a bunch of bouncing from one side of the map to the other. Um, and... You know, it just being, like, very disconnected. So I'm trying to make this kind of a very cinematic experience where we naturally follow the sort of path, you know, that the game kind of pushes you in. And with that, that means that I'm probably not going to go after the Master Sword until the game sort of pushes me there. And I did the same thing in Breath of the Wild. Um, and I really liked the way that it worked out. In Breath of the Wild, I also followed the memories so i did all the memories in order um same as i'm doing with this game so that's just kind of how i like to play and then the same thing with these so instead of like you know i don't want to just like make a total beeline up there for this next memory and get off track of what we're doing right now i'm trying to work the memories in with the main story and kind of like our natural path of exploration if that makes sense so what i think we're gonna do is we'll probably spend some time down in the desert and when we come across i think there's gonna be a quest just from like stuff that i brought online that is gonna lead us in the direction of the eighth heroine statue that's uh close by where that mem that memory is so maybe when we do that um which we'll get from gerudo town somewhere i assume then we'll hit that memory up and then it'll kind of like fit nicely in with what we're doing in the game all right so we need to get electricity from here to there Yeah, I was like, why did it let go? Because don't I need to glue them? There we go. So that gives me access to this. Or does it? Okay, yes. Oh no! What do I do? They don't reach. Oh wait, can I... No. I was gonna see if I could like take one of these off the wall. What if I was to just like hold this one out here to give me enough time and then like recall it maybe? That should be plenty. So you do that, and I'll grab this. There we go. Oh, I was like, I don't know how that helps me. I forget about um, Ascend a lot, actually. Okay, so I think I see a chest up there. And then here is our door. So I think, I think it's just another, whoops. Okay, but I need to complete the circuit. Doesn't reach. 
Is there anything else around here that I can use? This is glued. Why is that? Hi, <laughs> I don't know if I should be doing this. Probably, probably not, actually. Let's put that back. Because then, how is it going to spin? Well, okay, hold on. Let's, let's glue it. Glue you. Okay, let me use this to get the chest. And then maybe I can take that off to get the door. Okay, I see. Yeah, because I don't actually need this to spin to access that door. A strong zonite shield. So do I want this? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, now I think we can probably just take this. There we go. So definitely can see the electricity theme shining through here now that we're down here in the desert. Okay. Um, oh, so we're back at the stable. Wait, did I go to the stable yet? I don't think I did. This is the one. Oh, and Addison. This is the one that they said was closing down, actually. So, oh, and pins here. Great. Riddle Canyon Stable. Why would she do this? Whoa, hello there, partner. What's brought you all the way here? I'd heard that visitors stopped coming to the stable, so this place had shut... Had to shut down, but here you are. The severe chill around here is nothing to sneeze at, but look at you kids strutting around like it's just another day. I've come to this stable because my sources were chirping about a problem with the well here. Actually, they said Princess Zelda caused this problem. She shut down this well and declared it off limits. But without its water, the stable couldn't keep travelers, horses, or the workers refreshed. Well, uh, the well also provided a steady supply of mushrooms to folks here. Ah. So why'd the princess want everyone to stay away from it? That's the big question. What we're short on is answers. The owner, who is stuck here, is just as puzzled as anyone else. And I can't weasel down the well to see what she was so concerned about. My wings are too wide. Hmm. I wish there was some way we could get more details, but it seems like the deadest of dead ends to me. No, we'll go down there. It was really interesting seeing that memory of um, Ganondorf, like, uh, well, how do you say it when they're, like, not promising fealty or whatever to, to other kings? And how weird do you think it's got to be for, so I don't know, I guess I don't know what the timeline, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, um, what do I do? Oh, you know what? That shock fruit actually would have been kind of interesting. Let's try that. I missed! Oh, gosh. Help me. Ah! What am I gonna use? I need... I need some better two-handed weapons is what I need. Or, sorry, one-handed. Because all I have is... Two-handed. Anyways, oh, swearing fealty. That's what I'm trying to think of here. Get him! Okay. That guy's gonna have a really nice horn when he dies. There we go. And he dropped a nice shield. Oh, and there's a like like on the wall. Black Lizalfo's horn. Yeah, I think I'll f uh, fuse that to something, like, right now, actually. Anyways. It's a 35. Hold on. So, I think I'll trade that with this. And also, it was like... So, I'm just a little bit... I guess I sort of am under the impression that maybe they didn't know or they don't know for sure that Ganondorf is the one who was 
heading up that assault on them, like, in the last memory. Because otherwise, why would they have let him come into their kingdom to, I guess, I don't know. Like he said, maybe it's better to have his enemies closer. Also, that was, um, I like that. It was a little bit of a nod, I guess, to Ocarina of Time. I don't remember the exact words that Zelda used when she's spying on Ganondorf through that window, but she, you know, when she tells Link to look and it's the man with the evil eyes. I wish I could remember exactly what she says, but I don't. But it was something similar, you know, that he's uh, an evil man. Another one. Let's see. Oh no. Oh gosh, she's electric too. Jeez. Don't let him. Don't. Don't do it. I don't want him to light up. Got him. Okay. Yeah! Oh, partner, I heard monsters down there. Are you okay? Oh. So, what'd you find in the well? Mm. A bunch of monsters. So there were a lot of monsters behind that pile of oh. rocks. I can't help thinking the princess knew about that monster den. She must have had a barricade put up to seal away those creatures and protect everyone here. Now, why would- why didn't- wait, why the princess didn't say so, that's a mystery. But maybe she wanted to keep any panic from spreading. Or maybe it was only a very temporary measure, but then she disappeared. Yep, a little speculation on my part, but that's gotta be the story here. Ah. What do you say? Holds up, right? Our job is to follow the facts and that's where they take us. Mm. We've worked together on to chase seven stories relating to Princess Zelda. Yeah. There's never time for a break, you know. I'd better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Oh, oh whoops, I almost forgot. Tracy has been really impressed with you and she asked me to give you a bonus. Another 20 rupees. We needed to make some educated guesses with our story more than we'd normally do, but I'll stand by this piece. We know our princess, after all. She had to have everyone's safety in mind. I'll get to writing all this up for the paper. You take care of yourself. <laughs> so long. Hold on, but I want to go back down there. Because uh, I hope that my electric Lizalfos loot didn't despawn. And also, I didn't really see what was in that room up there. If anything. Uh, 15, a horn charged with as much electricity as a bolt of lightning. Ooh. And then the spear. Okay, so some mushrooms. Hardy truffle, that's always good. Oh my gosh, that was a hardy lizard, wasn't it? It was a little dark to see, but that was unfortunate. Anyways, yeah, Ganondorf definitely seemed like he was putting on a show, just scoping out their secret stones. I mean, he looked at each one of them around the room, and it seemed, seemed like everything he said was, like, through gritted teeth, teeth too. It's, like, very... Is this a cave? Like, the whole thing just seemed very forced. Where are we going? Oh, this is just like a path. Oh, one of the red arrows. Okay, so this means there's a Korok. I know this now. Which is actually really cool. Like, a really cool little detail there. Something behind this rubble. Can I move it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess this is just a little... little cutout in the... in the wall here, but I did want to help Addison. It seems like some of these quests that we're doing with the stable, some of them 
are very clearly like not Zelda and then some of them are. So, oh, where's the building materials? Well, there's a bunch of rocks. Ugh. So, what am I gonna use here? Rocks? Because this one sounded like it actually really could have been Zelda because she maybe knew that there were monsters down there and she sealed it off temporarily, like he said, until maybe she could get Link to clean them out or clear them out or whatever. But, I mean, that that seemed pretty, pretty likely, I think. But the last one... Uh, well, not the last one. Shoot, man. Oh, wait, that actually probably will work. The one with the fairy trying to, like, tell the fairy it's a... Oh. Well, he's not mad. Okay, he's standing. The one where they said that Zelda told that fairy to go into her bud because the world is dark and scary. Like, that was not Zelda. For sure. The one where the horse got spooked, that was not Zelda. But this one seems like maybe it could have been. And then the one that we did... Ah. The one that we did where she borrowed those tools, that was definitely Zelda because she was building a garden, so... Will I ever clean this up? I can't go in that way. Uh, I can clean this up. These crates always have so much loot in them too. Like, this is why I always have so many arrows. Not my, oh, my white maned Lionel Smasher. Oh yeah, see? Oh no, wait, I don't want everything to be on fire. Oh jeez. Yeah, there's like a ton of arrows in these things. I hope he really wanted me to break all this. Careful now. Um, here we go. I need a few stuff to this, to the, my weapons. After we talk to this guy. All right. Oh, um, good job making it in uh, here. You're up about and about awfully early. I mean, it's impressive that you came all this way, but the stable is closed for its doors for good. Thanks to this extreme weather, almost no one rides through here, and we get very few visitors of any sort. M making the things worse, Princess Zelda gave the order that everyone had to stay away from our well. But we need that water, not to mention the mushrooms that grow inside it. Uh, it's only temporary. It'll help, she said. I'll be right back to fix it. And, uh, she said, and then she completely abandoned us. Well, I think she just disappeared. So you're saying Princess Zelda sealed the well to keep the monsters from coming out of it to save the stable? I'm ashamed of myself for even imagining that she would abandon us. She really did have our best interests at heart. Mm. Come to think of it, we did have a surge in monster sightings before or after building the well that only ended once it was sealed off. But I was so busy cleaning out the stable, I never even considered that they might be connected. Uh. Thank you for looking into it for me. Next time I see Princess Zelda, I'll be sure to thank her too. Oh. As for me, I've got a mountain of junk to clear out, so I'll get back to it. I can't leave a mess when I close things down. But just how am I going to deal with all this stuff? Oh, look around you. What? All the junk is gone. I wasn't sure what you were up to, truth be told, but clearly it was all part of the masterfully... It was all part of masterfully removing that junk. You saved me. Thank you. I sort of let the junk pile build and build until it blocked the entrance, which was a real problem. There's still some work to be done, but thanks to you, I can get out of this place. That said, given that I'm wearing the uniform and this stable still standing, would you be my final customer? Oh. 
<laughs> okay, welcome to the Gerudo Canyon Stable. You, sir, have the honor of being the very last guest this stable will ever have. And that dear customer deserves commemoration in the form of one pony point. Oh, I have an award available. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, and I sincerely hope your journey ahead is a fruitful one. Now then, I think I'll have a little more junk to clear away, so I better get back to it. Thank you again for your help. Okay. <gasps> Oh, I forgot about those. The Stable Association sent us those frames a while back. Aww. They just sort of got buried under all the junk. Frames? Uh. Let me take off that wrapping. Hmm. They're even nicer than I thought. Maybe a little art on the walls would be nice, just so the Stable's final days don't have to be so lonely. So, does he want me to get pictures? I wish he would let me have them. Ah. Link has that empty frame caught your eye. Hmm. I was so focused on cleaning up, I completely forgot about these frames and the, the, the stable association sent me. I owe the stable a lot. After all the good years it's given me, I'd like to put out something nice so it can go out in style. You know, I heard an interesting story from a Rito traveler who stopped by here. Ah. There's... This local attraction nearby, Spectacle Rock, just check your map, the place is famous. And this traveler told me that while they were flying over Spectacle Rock, they glanced down and saw it smiling. <laughs> That's what I want to frame. What could be better than sending the stable off with a smile? It's just a shame that I can't fly to capture that view for myself, uh... but if I had even a picture of the smiling Spectacle Rock, I could copy it for the frame and cheer things up here. Oh, that's fun. Uh. Okay, so what is this one? Hmm. It turns out the Stable Association sent me two frames by mistake. Kind of ironic given we're about to close, but far be it from me to look a gift horse in the mouth, I might as well use the other frame to bid the Stable farewell in style. I think a picture of the giant sword stuck into a peak in the Gerudo Highlands is a neat goodbye the Stable deserves. Hmm. It's just northwest of here, but I won't be able to go see it. I have cleaning to do. Besides, it's cold in the Gerudo Highlands. Even a copied picture of the giant sword would liven up this old place. Okay, I know where that is. I don't necessarily know where Spectacle Rock is, but I'm pretty sure it'll just show up on my map. Oh, I guess it's right there. Oh, it's smiling? Is that what this is supposed to be? Like a big happy face? I don't know. We'll have to go up from the tower and see it, but um, we can do that later. Let's go out into the desert and see if we can make it to Car Car Bazaar. This is exciting. This is like the first time we've set foot, kind of, almost, except for maybe we did just before we got here. But anyways, like officially the first time we've set foot in the desert. Look at it. Ooh, what is this? This is new. And that's new. It looks like a big mushroom. Who is this guy? I'm taking a little break. Honestly, you should too. Getting here can't have been easy. As if the desert sand isn't bad enough, the elevation differences in Gerudo Canyon really take it out of you. Then there's the harsh heat of the day and the biting cold of the night. If I weren't pacing myself, I'd probably keel ah. over. It's important to listen to your body, and that includes resting once in a while. Okay. We don't rest ever. This is new. Oh, the sand seal! Lady. With her, her sand seal outfit that I've always been jealous of. That's so fun. <laughs> um, and then we've got a Korok here. I bet... I bet there's a way to attach a Korok to a sand seal. <laughs> I can't help but smile whenever I get a, a customer. Whether it's one or a hundred, I, I, it's not enough that the intense desert days and freezing desert nights have reached Gerudo Canyon. Thanks to that sand shroud, there hasn't been any business here at all. Aww. If you're interested in sand seals, then you're in the right place. Sand seals are animals that can cruise easily through the desert, and this shop is where we rent them to travelers. Many travelers embark on journeys into the desert only to discover how quickly their feet sink into the dunes. So if you're thinking of crossing the desert, you should make it easy on yourself and go sand seal surfing ah. instead. Renting one costs 20 rupees. If you're interested in a sleigh seal, a sand seal with a carrier, it's 50. Um, 
I know how to catch one. I think let's rent one with a sleigh. Don't forget that they're called sand seals for a reason. Watch out for rocky areas, okay? Okay. I'm gonna try this. This is new, so this is gonna be fun. Oh, look at it! Um, I'm gonna attach this little Korok here to that. Tell me where your friend is. Oh, that's pretty far. Yeah. But that's okay, we have a sand seal. I always kind of wished that they had done a little bit more with the sand seals in Breath of the Wild because... <laughs> oh, have fun. Like, I just wish that you were able to, you know, have one and tame one for yourself. So, you know, something that you could call to you when you're out in the desert, because usually you catch one and then you use it for a little while and then it just like disappears when you let it go and then you're stranded. But I guess renting one kind of fixes that problem. It's really, really is the best way to travel in the desert. hilarious okay so i'm just going to i want to turn this guy around and park him so hopefully i don't lose him turn around so we've got to investigate car car bazaar here i don't know hopefully he'll just like stay there where are those watermelons here they are The music at the Kara Kara Bazaar was my absolute favorite in Breath of the Wild. Ooh, a chest. Lots of chests. Hmm. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Those are rations for the soldiers. The sand shroud is wreaking havoc on our supply of provisions right now. Sorry, but if you need something, check the shop. Oh. Vota. Vota means savota. That was close. If the others heard me, they definitely chew me out for using slang on duty. Mm. <laughs> My mentor was entrusted, has entrusted me with decorating a weapon in a stylish way. She told me to make it sparkle and that it must radiate burning passion, but I don't know what she's talking about. She's got an allergy to monsters too, so that means monster parts are off limits. Oh. If I just had a way, a weapon, wait, if I just had a weapon I could use as a reference for where to start, that would help a lot. Decorate with passion. Bora asked, uh, was asked by her mentor to decorate. She was stumped by the specific request to make it sparkle and radiate burning passion. She's also unable to use monster parts. Perhaps she would benefit from seeing a weapon to use as a reference. Do I, um, does it have to be what she's holding? Like, could I do this and then drop a ruby and then... Because I'm assuming, like, a burning passion and make it sparkle, right? Like, that's... That sounds like a gem. I should have sorted by type. Here they are. And I've got 15, so I guess if I waste one. What? This is already fused. Oh. This is not a spear. Huh, okay. Well, let's destroy the fused. I guess let's still try it. But I feel like it needs to be a spear. What about this? Oh, okay. Maybe this will work. Hmm. Hold on. Give me a moment to study this weapon. Okay, so I think this is gonna work. So if you attach a ruby like this... That sparkle and the weapon positively radiates with burning passion, even if I can, wait, e even I can make something like this, and it'll certainly please my mentor, Sark, for showing me such an inspired, inspiring decoration. Please take this. Electric key swing. Oh. It's the material I would recommend for decorating weapons. A lot of monsters call the desert home, so normally I wouldn't recommend going out there. However, if you want to test the strength of a weapon you've added something to, now is the perfect time. Okay. Well, that worked. Yay. Who are you? Rip. You're an unfamiliar face. Are you a member of that caravan squad heading to Gerudo Town? What? 
Oh. They're a group of Hylian merchants. It's not as though they can do business in this sand shroud, so they're helping out by guarding the entrance here. It's clear their plan is to gain access to Gerudo Town by getting into our good graces, but our law about Vo is absolute. We couldn't let them in if we wanted to. Oh. Gerudo Town is in the southwest of here. It's the biggest town in the region. That said, the laws of the Gerudo forbid Vo men from entering the town. Though, Vo or not, under this terrible sand shroud, it would take a near miracle to reach the town in the first place. Oh. I recommend you follow the example of the Vo of the caravan squad and give up on even trying for oh. now. Well, even if you're not with them, you shouldn't leave here regardless. Wow. I'm not gonna let some sand shroud stop me. Here's another guard. Now, what are they up to? Savota. Mm -hmm. I commend you and those merchants for making it here under these abnormal conditions, uh. but the area south of Karakara Bazaar is covered by the sand shroud right now, so visibility is extremely low. Then there are eyewitness reports of strange monsters. I won't think any less of you if you call off your trip here. Uh. Besides, this oasis is under the protection of us Gerudo soldiers, so you know it's a safe place to rest and relax. Okay. How come nobody else is talking about these? Just like, they just popped up overnight, probably. Yeah, what is this? Oh, look, it's like, it's like leaking sand. I think this is stone, but no matter what I do, I can't put a dent in it. Oh, geez. It ricocheted. I have a bad feeling about this thing. I don't know why, but I do. Well, I don't think there's anything that I can do to it. Yeah, I think we'll save that for later. Beetle! I really haven't spoken to Beetle hardly at all. <laughs> Look at him, he's hot. <laughs> Poor guy. Hey. Oh, what are the chances I'd run into you here? Well then, can I tempt you to buy? What do you have? <laughs> Arrows, shock fruit, tireless frogs. Cool, I think I have plenty of all of that, so... <laughs> I probably will need rupees, assuming that I need to get armor to go into this place. Always. Oh, I already talked oh. to her. This is Rip. Oh. They have a well. <laughs> oh, crabs. Are these bright eyed? Sure are. Discovery. Oasis source. Oh, cool. You know, it was always kind of a mystery in Breath of the Wild how the oasis or whatever on top of Gerudo Town, like, always had enough water to supply the whole town. I guess they just answered that question. Oh, what's moving? Oh, it's a little peblet. I wonder if I should have gone into the rest of the town before I came down here, because this is big. Oh, that was a hardy lizard! No! Darn it. My igneo talus hammer. So, let's, um... Yeah, let me make a weapon. Let's go find a rock. Oh, truffles. Mm, another peblet. <laughs> Here's a rock. Well, this is actually a really big well. I 
Here's a chest and a sword. Ooh, a radiant shield. I want it. It's so pretty. Um. Wow. Wait, this is an actual cave. It so it's a well that like spills into a cave. Or am I in a cave? Hold on, I don't know. I just feel like I hear a bubble frog. Come on. Okay. Oh, so there is a bubble frog here. This is weird. Oops. Pick up the mushroom. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just in the well. I didn't know that there were... Um... I didn't know that there were bubble frogs in wells. I need a rock. Preferably like a big one. And I guess there's a shrine down here? Okay, well, um... Hold on, let me go back up and then we'll come back down here. I just want to finish talking to the people in this town. Is that a retail? Wait. Oh, this is, um, I guess this is the caravan. Ew. Guy. <laughs> uh, dear me, I accidentally combined good day with the Gerudo Savak there. Perhaps I've lived here too long, which reminds me, I've had all sorts of new greetings lately, like Vota and Sava. Should I be using those instead? Uh. Another Hylian stranded by the Sand Shroud, I take it. How challenging life is how challenging life without wings must be. The higher you go, the thinner the shroud gets. So we Rito can soar right over it. For us, it's a little more than a sandy fog. Oh. Have you seen the thick layer of sand over the desert? This is the sand shroud. Should you be caught in it, not only will it obscure your vision, but it'll also make your compass go haywire. Thanks to that updraft over there, however, this oasis is secure. I've never been inside the sand shroud myself. We Rito can simply fly over it. Be careful not to get your feathers rustled by the sand shroud. Good vork for now. Whoops. Uh, sorry, that was a little goodbye and a little bit of savork. Look, you know what I meant. Just take care out there. I'm pretty sure that this Rito used to hang out here in Breath of the Wild as well. I think there was a quest where you had to bring them some kind of an elixir to cool them off. This is the last one. Oh, look! I want it. <laughs> I sell one of the latest Gerudo... Uh, oh, wait, sorry. I sell one of the latest fashion crazes straight from Gerudo Town. If you're after the Desert Vo headband, you've come to the right place. It used to be hard for Vo to get their hands on it. <laughs> now only is... No, not only is what I sell fashionable choice, but it's also great at staving off the desert heat. And even if you already got one, why settle for just one when you could have another one from a different color? Um... Wait, why can't I buy it? A different color? <laughs> Using dye to change the color of clothes is a big thing with young Vi traveling around Hyrule. If you're interested, there's a store in Hatino Village in the eastern edge of Hy Hyrule, the Kochi dye shop. Yeah, we know about that. Ah! Um, let me see how expensive this is. Oh, we can afford this. I'll tell you a super special secret that even most Gerudo don't know. Okay. The Desert Vo headband. Since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you that secret. The headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Vo series. There's also a spalder and trousers, but you have to go to a special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? 
Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. Oh, now that I think about it, Bo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's got oil, safflina, and hydro melons. So let's go, let's actually change into our new thing. I wonder if this is enough to keep the heat from bothering me. Or if I would need the whole set. Ooh. Uh. Need some travel oh, security? A journey through the desert is dangerous and a fully stocked pouch is the best defense. By the way, the counter in the back is the front desk for the inn, just in case you want to rest up for your travels. Wait, where's the inn? Uh. Uh, sorry, it's pretty far back there, so it's kind of hard to see. Mm. The counter back there is the front desk. Oh dear, she's back in her book again. Uh. I'm very sorry. I've told her a million times not to read when we have customers. Before we switched jobs, I used to have her working this general store. But, well, she's a little... How do you put this? Unsociable? <laughs> customers are rare enough as it is. We don't need her attitude driving them away. <laughs> I personally think customers should be welcome with a smile when they walk in, so I'm filling the role of greeter now. Oh, oh dear, I shouldn't have said that. Anyways, is there anything else you need? Mm. No. The Oasis is safe because of the guards, but be careful if you leave. So it looks like there's people here. Ooh, is that a fruit pie? I'm worried. So I don't want to stay in the inn. Ah. Oh, wait. Three big ideas. Oh, Zonai survey team, ZST. Surveying shrine, survey. No, I think we've read that before. Or it sounds familiar ah. anyways. Um, I got to do that shrine. Ooh, hey. I'll take that. So in Breath of the Wild, this is where you would go to meet that guy or Vi, maybe, uh, to buy your Gerudo clothes. But this is new. This wasn't here. And they did say that you could see over the sand shroud if you get high enough. Oh, hello. Looks like things are normal in Gerudo Town. Hey, what are you doing? Listen, this is the lighthouse for the bazaar. It's not a tourist destination or a place to play around on. That said, I guess it's fine now that you're already here. Go ahead and enjoy the view over the desert. After all, this is the only place in Car Car Bazaar where you can see over the sand shroud. Oh, yeah. Goodness, it stretches from from like literally one side to the other. So that's going to be fun. Okay, I think we talked to everybody except that caravan over there. And my sand seal's gone. Oh, well. A sliding device. So no electricity this time. I just saw those things go down. Oh, is this sand? Oh, it is. Oh, cool. What, should I just um, recall this one, maybe? Wow, that was perfect. So we've got a control stick and another sled there. Wow, this is crazy. So let's attach these. But I don't think that this is gonna move. Oh, there's a fan right there. Actually, can I run over there and get the fan? Oh, I don't know if this makes me like sink and die. Ah! Oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay, let's drop that there and then run for it. Oh, 
actually, let's put it like right here instead so that it doesn't drag through the sand. Eh. Oh, there we go. So is there anything out here that we should be exploring before we go and just exit the shrine? Okay, here's a chest. Ten arrows. So the sand thing is kind of new. I wonder if it's like in Skyward Sword when you would run out of stamina, I guess, and pretty much like sink in the sand and not like, I guess, die, but kind of just be like put back on land. But this was actually pretty easy. I guess it's an introduction to deep sand. Okay. Oh, look, and here's a little sled right here. I guess since our... Is that a fan? Maybe. What does he have here? Oh, no. Hey, he's got one of the orbs from the, the seven heroine statues. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see what they have to say. Oh. Um, you do know the sand shroud makes compasses stop working, right? You're not really thinking about trying to push your way through it, are you? It's even more dangerous right now in the cold of the night. Just don't do oh. it. It took years and years of regular visits, but we finally started to convince the Gerudo that they can depend on us. So, please, I'm begging you, don't ruin it by causing any trouble or being reckless. <laughs> Hi. Benja. Um, Sav Saba. That was a perfect... What? If I do say so myself. Oh. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Who are we? We're the first men who will officially do business with the Gerudo, the Vo Caravan Squad. If you, too, want to go to Gerudo Town, you would do well to make friends with us, the Vo Caravan uh. Squad. We're a group of merchants and friends who have long dreamed of doing business in Gerudo Town. Oh, oh and vo is the Gerudo word for man. Vo is the word to know. If you don't understand at least one word in their language, the Gerudo will never accept you. And we should know. We've spent years trying to curry favor with them any way we could. They finally entrusted us with protecting the western entrance to the Kara Kara oh. Bazaar. I've lost count of the number of times I've been swatted with the flat of a guard spear. They mistake me for some lowly opportunist. Oh. Gerudo Town? Gerudo Town is located straight out of this gate. It's the town made by Gerudo for Gerudo, which means it's full of Gerudo. And to <laughs> us, it means a utopia. Oh, gosh. Uh. Captain, not so loud. You're going to give the Gerudo a bad impression of us. Hmm. Sorry, Robson. I just slipped out. Uh. Anyways, the Gerudo have a law forbidding males from entering their town. Keeping us shut out only makes us all the more curious, though. I mean, it's just common sense. Uh. We were hoping to raise the Vokaravan squad's likability by gallantly rescuing the Gerudo ladies from the Sand Shroud. But the Sand Shroud doesn't just block our vision, it confuses our compasses too, so we got lost in about five seconds. In the end, it was the Gerudo ladies who ended up gallantly saving us. Still, maybe if we prove our master is... Gate guards, Gerudo Town will make an exception and welcome us as heroes. <laughs> this is kind of funny because I'm pretty sure these guys, you could speak to them around Gerudo Town and uh, they were like spying on the Gerudo Town, I guess, to see how they could get in. And now they're here pretending to protect the city. Except for this guy. This guy looks different. <laughs> Anthos. Get a load of this orb. Seems really old and really expensive, don't you think? I hear there's someone in Gerudo Town who's investigating all these ancient whatchamacallits. So once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, he looks familiar. <laughs> Look at his teeth. Oh, this is a funny looking guy. And he's like one of the only Hylians I feel like I've seen that has a beard. His big old round eyes. Hilarious. Anyways, um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get to Gerudo Town today. Because look at this. Ooh, and there went my map and stuff. Ooh, that was fast. So, I think it's going to be a journey to get there. 
But we did make it to Car Car Bazaar, and I'm unsure if I should investigate the well or if I should just go to Gerudo Town first. Um, the water seems a bit low here, doesn't it? Let's get this chest. Ooh, a Gerudo bow. Yeah, let's drop this one. Getting all kinds of Gerudo stuff. Okay, well, that does it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and come back next time for more. We'll try to get into Gerudo Town. See you next time. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can now join on YouTube and get early access to videos and see members-only community posts. Can't wait to see you there.